Hi, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on installation of Fedora, which is an open source Linux operating system. As you can see, version 34 has been released by Fedora. Uh, they have two versions of it available, workstation and server. If you want to install it on the servers, then you'll go for Fedora server. But since we are installing it for testing purposes on VMware workstation, we'll be using uh, Fedora workstation. In order to download it, you'll simply click on download and you'll find a version for both 32 and 64 bit. And uh, once you download it, it's around about 1.9 gigs of file. Further, if you want to make a bootable uh, USB for the installation of Linux uh, Fedora, you can download their Fedora Media Writer that works for both Windows and Mac operating systems. So you'll select the version or the operating system that you have installed on your machine. Once that's done, you'll be able to make a bootable USB and you'll be able to install Fedora on your laptop. Since we are installing it on a virtual machine, you can uh, download the ISO file. Then we'll go to the VM workstation, click file, create new virtual machine, click next. Select the ISO file. Once the file is selected, it's saying that it's a 64-bit version. Press next. Uh, we'll name it same as Fedora and we'll keep the same destination as where we are installing all our virtual machines. Press next. Uh, maximum 20 gigabyte, that's fine. Store virtual disk as a single file. I prefer that, it depends on your configurations. Press finish. Now it has created a virtual machine and further, if you want to make any changes to this one, you can click on edit virtual machine and uh, allocate more resources for it for your computer. Now it really depends uh, the specifications of your computer. I'm giving it around about eight gigs of RAM and uh, processor also, I would give it four since I have a powerful machine over here uh, you can choose it according to your specifications and simply we'll power on the virtual machine okay now it's asking that where you would like to install it we'll install it to the hard drive You'll choose the language. I am continuing with the default setup. Installation destination. You can select it since it's a virtual drive. I have selected 20 gigabytes. So I'm continuing it as it is. Press done. And now you can click on begin installation. So after installation, I restarted the operating system and we are trying to finish the setup now. Uh, location services uh, depends if you want to enable it. I prefer keeping it off. Connect online accounts, no. Um, skip. I would create my own account over here. And uh, let's proceed. It would ask for a password. next and we are all done start using fedora welcome to genome and this is gnome 40 thanks and uh, 
that's our initial interface of the operating system as you can see if you click on this button over here it would show all the applications which are installed in your fedora and uh, if you want to open the browser you have firefox installed on it make it a default one and we don't want to import anything so uh, we can close the tab and uh, here you can see the wired connection and if you want to lock it or restart the operating systems these are the options appearing for volume control as well if you click on activities again it would show you a calendar which is a nice calendar over here and if you click on the files you'll be able to browse the contents on your machine close that and uh, this one is if you want to install any software from their library they'll be installed on your fedora and it's installed so you can collect the cat uh, select the category over here and it would show you the respective softwares on that if you have any installed softwares or if there are any pending updates and that's pretty much about it so enjoy your fedora operating system that's it for today thank you very much